Welcome to this SAP and Azure series. This is a lab on Power BI connecting to SAP BW. My name is Ross Forte. I am the SAP Solution Specialist for Microsoft. And my focus area is SAP Data Integration and Azure. Let's first start with um, an overview of the SAP Business Warehouse Connector. For more detail, watch my Power BI deep dive into SAP connectivity, which is an SAP and Azure channel on YouTube. The SAP BW is a uh, connector, is a specialized connector for SAP BW 7.x Plus, and it's able to connect to the application server or the Magis server. It can connect to info cubes and query cubes, including BEX queries. Being a multi-dimensional connector, it supports hierarchies and variables, and supports display names and technical names for easier navigation, as well as variables, hierarchies, hierarchy nodes, and member properties. It is, is able to support both import and direct query modes of Power BI, which means that an import mode Power BI on a scheduled basis submits a query to uh, SAP BW and extracts the data needs for the report and stores it into the report. In direct query mode is where, where a user in Power BI is navigating the report and while it's navigating, uh, Power BI submits queries to SAP BW to support the data requirement of the, of the navigation. Both of these modes are supported by using the on-premise data gateway, which I'll talk in the next slide. The on-premise data gateway is it creates an encrypted pipe between the SAP BW running on a VNet and, and Power BI running in the public cloud. Also, uh, the SAP connector supports single sign-on through Kerberos delegation, where a Power BI user using direct query could single sign-on from Power BI to SAP BW uh, and have a streamlined security experience and be able to access only the data that the user is, is authorized to see. There's two versions of this connector. Uh, one is the SAP uh, NetWeaver RFC, which is a uh, implementation 1.0. And the second one is implementation 2.0, which is built on top of the SAP .NET Connector 3.0 and is certified by SAP. You should be using the implementation 2.0, which is higher performance and has uh, additional enhancements. The on-premise data gateway is a, a it's basically a, um, a creates a pipe between your Power uh, Power BI running on the cloud and SAP BW running on a VNet, and between and it's able to share data either in direct query mode or import. It does support many users and many data sources. And it could be used with Power BI, Power Apps, Flow, Azure Logic Apps, uh, with all within a single gateway installation. In order to um, uh, to to use on-premise data gateway, what you need is a Windows VM in the same VNet with uh, where SAP BW is. Within the Windows VM, you would need to install the SAP BW driver and also install the on-premise data gateway, which means then Power BI will connect, the service connects to through the, the on-premise gateway to the uh, Windows VM, and the Windows VM 
uh, having the SAP BW connector is able to connect to uh, SAP BW. Here's a link on installation of prerequisites for the SAP uh, and, and uh, to connect the on-premise data gateway. And then here's a link to configure Power BI service to use the gateway. Now to do this SAP BW lab, uh, we need to install the C++ runtime and the SAP connector for Microsoft.NET 3.0. So, so let's say I'm in your laptop, you would download and install the Power BI desktop. Then you will install the C++ runtime and then you download the SAP connector for Microsoft 3.0 from this link. Once you do that and install it, then you are able to create uh, Power BI reports using SAP VW. So let's go to the lab and, um, and look through the lab. So the first thing you would do is let's go to here. And if I were to, uh, this is the uh, SAP BW connector. If I double click on that, you'll ask me to uh, welcome to SAP.NET connector 3.0. Okay. Uh, because I already installed it, it says, do I want to repair it or remove it? But in your case, you'll be installing it. Okay. Once you install that, then you go to Power BI, click Get Data, More. And th then you're presenting with the windows to put in near the, uh, uh, to choose the data source. And I'm going to say SAP. And here you can see there's a, an application server and a message server. I'm going to go with the application server here. Click Connect. Okay. Then what I do is I put in the server information. Okay, the uh, uh, server system number, the client ID. Okay, so now you have two options here. You could choose import. So you're importing the data on a scheduled basis from um, S, uh, from, from um, SAP VW, or you could do a direct query mode. So an import mode, uh, you have the option of also putting in putting an MDX statement, or if you don't put an MDX statement, it'll um, it'll open a navigator and you could choose the cube you want. In direct query mode, uh, you do not have that option of putting an MDX statement. It will just open the navigator. Okay. The other uh, um, thing here is the implementation. You have implementation 2.0 and 1.0. You should be using 2.0, which gives you much better performance. Here then you could choose the language, the execution mode, which allows you to uh, uh, compress the, uh, the data stream for better performance. Okay. And, and also you control the batch size. So let's go ahead and click to connect. Okay, the next step is going to ask me to um, provide my credentials, and I am going to uh, type in my credentials here. And click connect. Okay, so I opened up here. You can see the info cubes. Click on info cubes, and it gives you a list of cubes that are available here. And here's your navigator, and you could also choose um, 
if you want to see only selected items, enable data preview or technical names. Okay. Now we're going to choose the actual for NW demo and click connect uh, and load the data here. All right, all the data is loaded, and now we're ready to start building a report. So we maybe go in and create a, a text box. Maybe we say this is a Power BI um, SAP BW. Okay, let's say direct query. And maybe we change this to bold. Oops, let's go like this. Bold, make it big. And uh, we'll center this. So we have a, a title. So now let's start creating some reports. Maybe we just go here and say, uh, let's create a report. Um, choose country and maybe we do choose a um, value here and let's uh, make it smaller here and we've got um, and you will see that this is making a direct query call to uh, SAP BW and pulling that data directly uh, let's maybe add a filter Let's see what we want. We maybe want a filter on product. So you could see the different products we could filter on. Um, and let's create a filter here. Click on filters. Okay, we have a chance to adjust the products. Let's maybe create a little a table with information so we could uh, we could query so I go here and I create the um, see sales or let's say let's choose region and we just uh, click region so we create that there create a new a new, a new uh, table here and we will move this table over give us some room here okay and uh, let's see region let's see by number of orders Okay, open orders. Okay. So you can see that I'm creating a very simple Power BI report um, by just leveraging the capabilities of uh, going to Power BI uh, against BW in direct query mode. So every time I click on something here, it basically is going to go and uh, run a query and bring the data back. Okay. So it's simply as uh, as that. So that concludes uh, the lab uh, for Power BI direct query to SAP BW.